Hi, today I would like to talk about C sharp monitor versus the lock and let's get started. Typically, uh, when you have lots of threads doing the work, uh, you can just create a critical section by using the lock uh, command that's available in C sharp and it's an excellent way of doing certain things. And uh, the only drawback with that is that once you once a thread calls lock, it basically will wait for the lock to be available. So it cannot really do anything else and just kind of stuck. So let's say you want to go beyond that and be able, if you want to get that lock and go into a critical section, but if it's not there, you want to be able to do something else. If you want to do something else uh, in that particular scenario, you want to use and a monitor. So let me give you an example here. So I, I just set some variable called number of tasks and each of these uh, threads I have is going to increment that task and that is basically the work, it's a shared variable. And um, number of tasks, I just set it as a small example, so I'm just going to call it five. And uh, we create something uh, for the monitor uh, to, to use as a reference and we call it the lock object, This could be anything. So, so I have uh, set up a parallel uh, thread <coughs> for five tasks so that we can simulate threads doing the work and I've done that. So first thing I do is just set the current thread name to be thread plus i which is the loop parallel loop variable so that we can kind of distinguish what's going on. And uh, suppose these threads are going to run uh, pretty much all the time so I said while true and they can just kind of keep doing the stuff and keep checking. And so inside here this is where it comes uh, handy where he says if monitor dot enter try enter the lock object. If you are able to enter, we will be able to do our main work. If you are not able to enter, we will just simulate uh, the foreground color, change the console and say sleeping and we sleep for 200 seconds. And when it come back to the while loop, it will keep going that. Suppose we were able to get the lock through the lock object. Basically, we're changing the foreground color of the console. So when we print, we got something different. We can increment the work variable, which is simulating the number of works. And then I sleep for some time here. And then I just say to release the lock monitor dot exit lock object and I can release the lock. And since we are done with this task, pretty much that's all it was going to do. We can just do break. At the end, we check to make sure that all of the variables have been implemented by each of these threads and equal to total number of tasks. And uh, if there is not, we can throw in an example uh, exception. So let me just run this and uh, we can kind of quickly check how this works. So when I run this, you can see uh, we have uh, uh, in blue one, two, three, four, five. So all of the threads were able to do their work, and some of that, some of the time they were not able to get the log, so they simulated doing something else or sleeping. So you can see we have several things also. So monitor is actually a very good way to do this thing. If you uh, just don't want to do a quick lock and enter into critical section and kind of wait, it can be a little bit wasteful. If you have something useful to do, you can do that. If you want to search for these and other videos, you can just search in Google for Gore Associates, my website. And thank you for watching this short screencast.